Hi! Welcome back to another episode of Arcane! Yeah! We got number six! Yeah, sorry it's taken so long. We've had a lot of other game releases and stuff to do, and we're buying a house! Yeah, life things. And so thank you for your patience, and we should be able to record the rest of this in a more timely manner. Yes! Last episode was great. It was. It was we got a lot of Kate and Vi stuff, which I... <laughs> really liked yeah that was pretty uh that was pretty great for you what are you most excited for i am excited to see if vi and jinx are going to figure out that the other is around yay you ready yes that looks like so much fun <laughs> <laughs> i want to do that is that victor baby victor oh Oh no. It's Rio. Rio's very cute. Oh no. She's cute, but what are, what are you doing down there? Yeah. She's dying. <gasps> we can be loners together. Why are you laughing? Just that's just sweet. Oh, I get bad vibes. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> if that's correct, but... Oh... Some things haven't changed, dear Oasis. Oh. The way that happened, I thought that Herbendinger was the guy in the cave. Oh, yeah, I could see that. <laughs> and I was like, wait, how, what? Do you have a curse? No, he's perfect the way he is. Yeah, he is. He's really perfect. It's a sad truth that those who shine... It's just, it's so mean to me. It's so mean. And my heart hurts so bad. And why would they just start like that? I know why, but like, I'm so sad. Yeah, it's just really sad. You can see how hopeless he feels and how he's always wanted to contribute. He has all these expectations for his for himself that he feels like none of it's good enough, even though like he can't he can't appreciate the good he's brought into the world. And just that he is determining his worth based on what he's brought to the world. Yeah. I wish that it could just be, did you do good for the people that you encountered? He should be focusing on himself. He should be resting like this poor empathetic soul is just thinking about what have I done? What could I have done? And it's really sad. And I just love his expression. He's so vulnerable. He's yeah. Sweet. Victor's dying. Oh. I think it has something to do with gases in the fissures where he grew up. Mm. Exactly the sort of thing we wanted to fix with Hex Tech. Because he was poor. Improving lives. Yeah. Real issues, not just trade disputes. And he's left my brother. You don't have to face it alone. Smooches! <laughs> I love that he's more emotionally available and she's more closed off. It's a cool um, twist on gender stereotypes. Yeah. He's the one who's like, oh, like physically affectionate and so smooches. And, <laughs> and she's like slowly breaking down her walls. Like, why did you come to me with this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stop. I can't do this. No! <laughs> She's so sneaky. <laughs> Who are you grabbing? Some girls. I mean, oh. I mean no, I'm not grabbing girls. Uh. Other than the, those ones, I guess. Uh. Focus. Oh. I wonder if Jinx is going to feel super betrayed that Silco doesn't tell her. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, I hope. Because, like, this whole life that she has now is built off of Vi being gone. Mm hmm. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, she was stabbed. Can you do this? Oh. Ow. Oh, oh. no. Uh. 
the pain tolerance on this girl. Um, it looks. Uh, wait, what who is going wait, on? Wait, who is that? I have no idea. But the way that it twitched his head, it. But that looked like Jinx with the raven. She has a very bird-like. Yeah, it could be. I, Let's I, see. Yeah, we'll see. <gasps> Lost who? Oh. Oh my god. I feel like you and I got off on the wrong arm. <laughs> the wrong arm. That's so rude. She's with some girl enforcer. I guess she replaced you. Why would you say that? Yeah. Ten out of ten. Oh, oh no! I'm still hoping for an arc for you, Marcus. Yeah, you can do it, Marcus. Ah, about time Daddy joined us. Oh. You were so busy. Little Ren here saw me in. Oh, that's so. F Oops. Oh, so sorry. Accidents happen. What an asshole! Yeah. So you literally just care about Jinx? It feels like because he cares about Jinx, because he cares about her like a daughter, he can be even more manipulative and he knows how to control people and get them to do what he wants. He can't see past his own circle. Like it's, it's... His own circle, like more just like... Himself. Him, yeah. Like... Uh, because he does, he obviously doesn't care for his henchmen. Because no, he'll put them through <laughs> like body mind transformations, but and like, let Jinx accidentally kill them or mess up their fucking yeah. careers and stuff. And he'll threaten like a small child. It's, it's very really sly. horrible, and it's making me question what he actually feels for Jinx. Is it love? Is it care? Or is I don't it, think like, it's control? love. I don't think it's love because my definition of love. There's not that um, toxicity, but I don't think that it's control either. Like, I think that he does appreciate her and I guess you could say some version of love, but a very toxic kind because he wouldn't be manipulating people this much. Jinx is holding him back. She's done more he, harm than and good. And to show how betrayed, yeah, how betrayed he was with Vander he has the potential to care about people and that's why the stuff with vander messed him up so bad yeah and i think he does really care about her and it could be some kind of control but he can't control her and like in the in in the scene we just watched it was like i can't control her either there's just all these girls that they literally can't control yeah. and i love this show that's a <laughs> huge reason why i love this show he can't control jinx no. Because if he could, he would be like, stop blowing things up without my permission. Marcus couldn't bring Vi down. Like, she freaking trained yes. and, like, kept her eyes on. She mm -hmm. was like, I gotta reunite with my sister. These characters are awesome. And, um, Cersei in Game of Thrones? That's, yeah. It's the vibes that I'm getting. Yeah, Is she'll, that, like, do anything her name, right? for her own mm -hmm. children, but, like... And kill other people's children. Yeah. And she's so powerful because she knows how to manipulate parents and people who have loved ones and she's a horrible person but she freaking would do anything for her kids and loves her kids it, it could be the key to augmenting physiology extending life curing you oh that's his main priority right yeah. now oh wow we have uh, not been here yet no <laughs> people you topsiders don't want to think about wind up yeah <sighs> you topsiders always find a way to screw us. I suppose topsiders to blame for all your misfortunes. A lot of them. Not all of them. Oh. We aren't monsters, you know. We're people, just like you. Okay. Oh, you don't know anything about me. You must destroy it. Uh oh. Do you trust Heimerdinger, or? I trust him. No, do you think he's right that it could be really dangerous? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
Do you think it should be destroyed? I mean, it's not natural. So I, I don't know, because it's like anything that powerful can be abused. It's tricky. It's it's really, really tricky because like I think if if I were there, I wouldn't want it destroyed. Yeah. Just because be you see the good it can do. And it's like if somebody decides to do bad with it, you deal with that. I think there needs to be more eyes on it. You know, I hope that they don't just like take it. And, and I understand it's his creation, but it seems like Heimerdinger is more like he has PTSD. He's and he's and shown he's that he's he yeah and he's shown that he is traumatized from various different things yes. and he's very like he he is all for progress but only in small steps and small yeah. steps that you can test and run and like ensure that are safe and that's yeah. not necessarily what progress is it can be it's just slower i understand it and i think there's a place that's why there's a council that's why you discuss it. Yeah. If in an ideal world, you would have someone who wants to go slower and be more safe, and then other people who want to be progressive and make rapid change, and then you would fall somewhere in the middle. But this is just tricky because it's real people on the line. It's Victor's life on the yeah. line. It's just really hard, but I understand where everyone is coming from. Yeah. And it's nice to see this side of Jace where he's just like, okay, shit's real. I need to fight for my friend, my brother. He's decisive. And we've seen yes. him be kind of, not flaky, but just tiptoey mm -hmm. for a while. I love how he is so physically affectionate with him too. It's really endearing. It's really sweet to see two men be so... Yeah. You know, I love that. It's it's really sweet. Wait, wait, wait. Easy, easy. That, that, that's, 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 that's Vaughn, right? I'm sorry. Oh, oh, but uh, I do know Put the gun else. down, Kate. Yeah. Shimmer, why would you take something that does that to you? I just wanted to feel what it was like to be somebody, to make other people afraid. Oh, you can tell she already loves her. Yeah. Like she really cares about her. <laughs> she adjusts quickly. I love, I love her. Just, just tell her, uh, tell her I'm sorry about everything. Okay. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's a sweetie. Yeah. Isn't it funny? There's even like a lower than what we thought. Yeah. Lowest. Not even Silco is like running bottom. So like there's even worse. And that's so true for our society today across countries. But like, so many things we're just not even aware of. Like yeah. Caitlin just had no idea that that existed. Yeah. And I was harsh with her at first because I was like, why are you pointing the gun? But she changes and she learns really fast i think that hug was uh forgive me and thank you yeah yeah caitlin kiriman had a prisoner released on your order is there anything i can assist with so she did no. use his name we'll take vigilance we must hold each other accountable and who holds you accountable Ooh. what enforcers fear to set foot in the lanes all under your watch. Jace, you forget yourself. What? Uh I'm sorry, Professor, but healing this city will take more than just speeches. I believe it's time we gave the beloved founder of our city <gasps> a well-deserved retirement. <gasps> oh, shit. Jace. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, no. I mean, I... Uh, oh, my oh. God. But I feel like they still do need him. Like, this is yeah. just... Yeah. This is oh. not... This is... I think this is taking it too far. I don't want to see him cry. <laughs> no! <laughs> Not this sad. They need that that kind of level-headedness. Yeah. And I'm scared. And that experience. Yeah. There's nobody even close to his level of experience. Yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Romantic. How do you not know if your sister is alive or dead? It's hard to check up on people from inside a concrete cell. <laughs> what, you don't have parents? No, 
know. They were killed by enforcers. <sighs> Wait, is this real? Uh. What? What have you done with my sister? You talk too much. <laughs> Once again, she is amazing. Oh, nice. Where is she? Wherever you are, light it up, and I'll find you. No, you gotta go. You gotta go. I just hope Vi remembers the blue. Smoke. Oh, I'm sure she does. Okay. It looks like she was pulled away, though. Yeah. But maybe they know. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. But I, I expected it to be much harder for her to get through to Jinx and to get Jinx back on her side. But it seems like she's more willing to go back to her sister than I thought. And it and... speaks of that, like, sibling bond, yeah. too. Because, like, even if you have, like, a huge rift with a sibling... Like, you can say, like, I don't want to talk to them or, or whatever, but, like, if they need you and they call and you know that they need you and they're around, like, yeah, <laughs> you're going to comfort them. They're going to comfort you. And and you might fight afterwards and shit might fight, happen yeah. afterwards, but it is, it's being available for that call when you're needed, when they need help. And that's what they're both motivated by right now. They just want to find each other and, like... Who knows what will happen when they do, but they it's true. They just there's a lot of pain in there. And yeah. and it's obvious that Jinx is still carrying around so much guilt. Vi has so much anger and it's just And guilt as well. Yeah. Lots of guilt. It's so she much know guilt. She has a good heart. She has yeah. that affects her. You have a good heart. Despite it all. And she does. She does. See, I knew it. Sometimes you just gotta let people and things rest. Oh I my god. I hate that yeah. so much. I understand now. <gasps> oh. oh, how'd you get out, buddy? <laughs> you adopted her. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> oh. Ah! <laughs> it's like it gives me chills. I'm so scared of her, but like also, okay, yes. So did he tell her that she was dead? Like. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. He's a liar. Yeah, he is a liar. He can't. But also I, she... I, I don't. He can't love her. He thought he was protecting her and he thought he could give her a better life, whatever, whatever. But she has every right to call him a liar. She doesn't have every right to kill someone, but yeah. it's still like, it's, I just, I get chills and I'm like, yeah, fuck you, dude. Oh no. She can't get all the way up there that fast. <laughs> <laughs> Powder? Oh! Look, iconic. Oh. oh. What matters is we're together. Oh no, you don't. Okay. Oh. Toshi, Sarika wasn't lying. You're with her. Uh oh. They're back together again! Okay, nice, Kate. Whoa, those colors! Oh! So that was the person who did this. Yeah. What if watching. it's. Little man. It could be. It could I be. I don't, because I think that they, they're, it's someone from their past. No! Ah! Uh, 
not like we have the other uh, episode. Right. <laughs> My prediction is what if it's little man and she killed some because those are the skateboard people, right? Yeah. That she killed or she killed somebody, one of them that looked like Vi. So I think that's someone from their past. They're torn between like saving them and forgiving them. But if that's the yeah. leader, it just keeps expanding. I know it's in so the good. Coolest way. It's awesome. I already want to watch it again. Yeah, I, me like, too. Just I know I'm gonna have to watch it over and over. There's so many little details. It's so smart. It's so it's so well done. That and, that reuniting scene was literally perfect. And all of their stuff came out in it. Like you could see, like Jinx is literally a loose cannon. And Vi, <laughs> yeah. Vi is. There's a lot of like anger behind her punches, but she's still able to just. She's she's not at the she's point controlled. where she can. Yeah, she's, she's controlled. She's more controlled. And she's probably spent years mastering that control because mm -hmm, it's the only thing that she had. Yeah in that cell. Jinx is the complete opposite. And it was so sweet to see them back to back. And that family is still alive. It's just a little broken. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's. Yeah. It's uh, just different. Words cannot describe how good this show is. It really is so amazing. I relate to Jinx a lot just because of my mental illnesses and stuff. And sometimes I do have to ask myself, is this real? And I feel like they're taking um, personality types and relationships and then just exaggerating it. Yeah. But to see this kind of loose cannon character who does bad things, but she also loves her sister and she's also still her and she's still redeemable is, is amazing. Like no one is perfect in this show and no one is completely a villain. Yeah. And it's just allows for a lot of representation of different personalities, different genders. And Jace is like... <laughs> I go back and forth with him all the freaking time. At first, when he was telling off Herman Dinger, I was like, yeah, true. And then he just like, I know this, the stakes are so high, though. He needs to move forward. He, yeah. His main thing is he wants to save his friend. He's not being a butthole. He's not. He doesn't no. just want power. That's what's in his mind. And he sees his friend and he's like, there, I, there are so many people that are going through this, like losing their friend yeah, and stuff. And, and he's noble. like, and there's a chance that we can fix it. I also love how it addressed addiction too, like in such a subtle way and the like the under under city with those because there's there you see an addict and it's like there is a human there, you know, like that person that you love is there and they show up. And then it's just like something has their claws. And if people are willing to manipulate that, they will use they will use them to their advantage. You could see the guilt in that guy's eyes like he didn't want to do it. And Silco just you can tell this is what he does. He uses that. He uses those addicts. He has them beat people it's up for disgusting. him and die for him. But then also, like Jay said, the people in the council know that this is happening and it benefits them, too. Yep. And that is so accurate to society because we could point to like a drug lord and be like that's bad and it is bad but then what about the people higher up that are just letting this stuff happen and like letting people be used making money off of them what did you think of victor and going back to that guy with the mutant uh, it's he was i mean i guess it was just his way of saying like this research needs to survive this research needs okay. to continue yeah because it's the mutation but i don't understand what and like maybe he saw himself in rio and he was just like i need to suffer for this to happen i, I don't oh maybe he realizes that like he he'll live but he won't live live yeah but he just wants at all costs for the mutation the to mutation. survive. The mutation. You're so right. And it's not a completely selfless thing either. No. You know, it's not just like a completely noble objective. It is in some ways. I do think he has good intentions and wants to better the world. But also at what cost? There's always a cost. And I think he just really wants to see his work follow through and help people like him yeah he wants to help people but he also wants to be remembered yes yeah and that's and both things can be true yeah and he can still be a good person that's why this show is so good because it just questions your traditional good guy bad guy yeah even like the arc 
there's no arc for these because it's like boop, 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 boop. yeah it's just human like you don't have yeah. an arc in life no like, it's we not revert like, to our I childhood selves all the time <laughs> yes yeah. and like our uh, worst impulses like it's like therapy yeah <laughs> yeah it's okay to go back to your trauma response and to react negatively and then just be like oh shit okay let's try again yeah um it's not like a steady climb of becoming a better person and becoming no. your best self not no at all. no anyways we'll see you next time i'm yeah. very curious to see who is behind the mask don't spoil it yeah don't spoil it but you know what you should do like subscribe drink some water and give somebody a hug if they consent bye, bye. bye.